So, I am here in Krugsberg, I think they call it. It's the part of Berlin that I'm living in. And I thought I would just do a little walking tour in that area. Uh, most people who come to Berlin, like backpackers, at least, they stay in this part of Berlin. It's a very, you know, well, diverse, hippie, whatever word you want to use. But if you're a backpacker, then definitely that's where you want to come. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little walking tour and just give you some snapshot of what it looks like. Berlin is a very back friendly city, I've said this many times and I think second to Tokyo, this is the city I've seen with the most bikes and there are um, lots of bike stands and bike tournaments, riding or bike lanes, very very bike friendly. So indeed this is just a cool little section of Berlin if you want to visit it, it's not as you know, busy as the main attraction downtown. So this is where I'm staying and I'm going to a memorial today, uh, a Jewish Holocaust memorial. Well, there's lots of places to eat over here, the entire of Berlin, but especially down here, outdoor eateries. You know, that's one thing I miss, uh, I wish the States had, places where people can just sit outside and eat and interact. This nice and cool downtown. Uh, yeah, I guess we could check it out. Uh, this is not in my direction, so but I wanted to show you. Looks good, whatever that is. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, this is not in my direction, so I'll be going back. Right well. You can see how laid back it is, and I love this kind of neighborhood setups. I really do. sample how much it cost okay so up across the street and check the other side then I'll find my way to my destination mm. it is the train station is right here and again you begin to see just the layout how we laid out it is Good stuff. I had one of those today. More bikers. Lots and lots of bikers. A city of bikers. Howdy. Good. So, just a good street. Mm 
This is nice. Egyptian, I thought, well, uh, not quite Thai, maybe. Thai, maybe. It's the Buddha. Yeah. Quite elegant. How are you? What kind of restaurant is this? Thai? This one is Thai, Singapore, Indian. Mix. Good. Smell very good. I could smell the flavor coming right through. And yeah, mix me nice. here. Yeah. Thank you. So, I mean, wow, this is huge house also. Let's see how much things cost here. There we have an idea how much things cost. That's in Euro, you'd have to do the conversion. I believe the Euro is about 1 to 1.1 to the dollar, so you'll need a dollar and 10 cents to make up a Euro. Now it looks yummy, I don't know what it is. It's fancy. Should be expensive actually, I'm supposing, but pay for good things. Okay, is that the same one or they all just have the same design? This is actually the same one. My god, this is huge. It takes up half a block. Yep, got some Indian food here. That looks yummy. Good restaurant. It tastes good. Yeah. It tastes, is that Indian? Really? Is it expensive though? I mean, Indian, you can ask yourself the same questions. Right. Expensive, I think it's okay. Well, that's what I want. I don't care for yeah, it's just not too expensive. Yeah. Can, but it looks I mean, yummy. You eat enough. Right. That's like, look, no, it I looks, think that's the main stuff. Absolutely. About okay, Indian. It's another like question. It's another <laughs> question. Could be Indian, Singaporean, and Malaysian. Spicy. If you want it spicy, that's the place. Have. That's the place so, to be. Are you guys from here? No, no, no. Where are you from? I'm Mexican. Oh, I've been to Mexico. I like Oaxaca. I love that place. Nice. Nice. Well, enjoy your meal, okay? Just wanted to ask you since. Get a review, I guess, an official yeah. on the spot review. <laughs> Take care, guys. Ciao. Yeah. So, you, here you are, you heard it for yourself. So, it's not too expensive, just a cool restaurant on the uh, Crooksburg area. Again, I'm just highlighting the area that I'm living in. If you come to Berlin, I would highly recommend this area. Lots of good spots to hang out and eat. So maybe we can end this video right at this intersection, but these streets go on and on, just love of places to eat, lots of eateries, uh, different countries, ethnicities, variety, diversity, whatever you're into, you will find it here it seems. Uh, highly recommend this part of Berlin. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, just goes on and on. Wow. So you can just explore this all on foot. And you know, just sticking the river, so just sticking the city all on foot. And you don't need to uh, get the train or the taxi. I don't even think you necessarily need a bike, but that would help things out if you want to hop across faster. Yep, I was gonna show over there, but life changed, so. Okay, so I think, yeah, we'll cross the street and end just about right here. But we don't have the light. This guy is turning, so we'll take a chance. Not quite sure. Oh, I thought they were doing This guy seems to be enjoying this thing. So there you are. Hope that gives you a kind of idea where it's at and, you know,
Okay, now to my original destination, I think. That's it for this video. Okay, you'll see you okay there. Off to the Jewish Holocaust Memorial. That's the spot for today. It's a nice little gig right here. It's pretty cool. More eatery. This is lots of variety right here. So, eating fries with chopsticks. Why not? As you could see. Yep. Alright folks, ciao!